you like your suit to fit you perfectly? It's easier than it looks. All you have to do is give us the right measurements. We'll show you how to do it. Let's start with the coat. First of all, measure your height from the top of your head down to the floor. Next is the chest girth. No need to hold your breath, just relax and breathe normally. Measure around the largest part of your chest. This applies also to the ladies. Simply measure the girth around your breasts. Moving on to the waist. First, measure the narrowest part of your body, just above the hip bones. Then slide the tape measure down 10 centimeters below this narrowest point. Here you'll get the so-called second waist girth. Going down, also don't forget the hips. Go horizontally around the pelvis and encircle the largest circumference of your bottom. Now raise your arm horizontally with a raised forearm. Measure around your bulging bicep muscle. Then encircle your forearm muscle in the closest point to the elbow. To get the shoulder curve girth, put the tape measure in your armpit and measure up to the head of your shoulder and around to make a circle. To get the width of your shoulder, measure the distance between your neck muscle's start and the end of your shoulder. This point can be found on an imaginary line coming up alongside your arm. Next, strap a belt around your waist. By measuring it from the big bone at the base of your neck, down to the belt, you'll get the back length. If you continue this measure down along your arm with a clenched fist, you will determine the total admissible coat length. Hold still, only three more steps. Now you need the total width of your shoulders. Remember that point on that imaginary line. Good, now imagine that on both of your shoulders and measure the distance in between. Are you right-handed? Okay, in order to get the forearm length, raise your left arm to 90 degrees, then bend your fist around and touch the middle of your chest. Measure from the base of your wrist to the point of the elbow. Keep your left arm upraised a little longer. The last step is the distance from the tip of your elbow to the middle of your back. If you're left-handed, just do the same last two steps, but the other way around. Great. Now you have all you need for a fitting coat. Let's move to the trousers. Since we already took the waist girth and hip girth in the beginning, there is no need to do it again. So, start with the thigh girth. Aim for the largest circumference, usually about 10 centimeters below the crotch. Once you have that, slide down to the knees. Here we need two measurements. First, the knee girth. Measure the circumference of your neck, about 10 centimeters above the knee. Second, the length between the middle of your knee and the floor. Measure along the inside of the leg, down to the floor from the middle of your knee. Now use any sort of tube or a folded magazine to determine where your crotch is. Start at the edge of the tube and measure along the inside of the leg down to the floor. Start the measurement on the bottom edge of the belt. Then go down along the crotch, around and up to the back, again to the bottom edge in the middle of the belt. Make sure the tape measure doesn't bother you, but you can still feel it. Then measure the distance between the bottom edge of your fastened belt and the floor alongside your leg. 
there you go. All set. Now send us all the measurements and we'll make you the outfit that really fits. <laughs>